Well, a Boston sports radio host is off the job tonight after using a racial slur to describe an Asian American ESPN reporter. WEEI's Chris Curtis says he's been suspended for a week. WBZ's Laura Haithley shows us his apology and what made his comment so hurtful. A ban on miniature liquor bottles was proposed Monday by Boston City Councilor Ricardo Arroyo. Garnering attention from neighbors and local media outlets, including the Greg Hill radio show on WEEI. The show's hosts were discussing the ban using the nickname for the airplane sized bottles. When producer Chris Curtis appeared to refer to an Asian American ESPN journalist, Mina Kimes, in a racist manner. It dragged her into a controversy through no fault of her own. Uh, regarding a slur and her race. Curtis was suspended by WEEI. I want to apologize for the stupid, lame attempt at a joke. Is it ever clever to, to, be, clev you know, to be clever at the expense of somebody's identity? Professor David Howell teaches Japanese history at Harvard. So it's really very much a term that was used during World War II to refer to the Japanese when they were the enemy. If it's a classroom or um, on the air. Um, using a term almost, you know, makes it sound like it's okay to use the term. WBZ reached out to the chair of the Massachusetts AAPI Commission, Dr. Gary Chu. Now let's not go back to the past and perpetuate hate, especially AAPI hate, which has been on the rise, not only in the U.S., but also in Massachusetts and the city of Boston. Dr. Chu hoping for accountability from the radio host and more representation moving forward. Anytime we can denounce things like that, uh, will help. We're working to, see, to talk about all these issues, providing resources to elevate the messages of what is going on so that everyone understands the diversity of the Asian American, popu Asian American and Pacific Islander populations. We did reach out to ESPN who called the comments hateful and extremely offensive. We also reached out to Odyssey, the owner of WEEI. They did not immediately get back to us. In Brighton, Laura Haefeli, WBZ News.